Hello there, Vlaudians! Yes, I made a word. It's Vlaudians. It's part audience, part vlog. Thus the vlog audience, which you all now are. I don't know, I came up with that word on my own. I feel like I needed a consistent intro for vlog type videos. So if you hear me say, hello Vlaudians, then it's like, uh oh, this is a vlog, I don't want to watch this one. So now you know for the future. Anyways, yesterday was a pretty crazy day on the YouTubes, and today was a pretty de crazy day for life. Because I hit a milestone today, a personal milestone that doesn't really matter or have any significance at all. But it was a milestone nonetheless. So, here's what happened. Let's start with yesterday. Yesterday, of course, was Earthquake Day. I've got to say, I'm still a bit shooken up. Yeah, I can't do the dun with two hands because I'm holding the iPod with one hand. Why am I vlogging from an iPod? So unprofessional. Because my real camera over there has one... Actually, not even one minute. It has 40 seconds left of hard drive space. So I don't really want to tempt that. Um, and I don't think I can... I already passed 40 seconds, I'm sure. Um, 48. That's that's my guess at what I'm at right now. Am I at 48? I can't really look without looking at the screen. And I don't want to turn the screen. It's like, but it has two cameras. Why don't you just look at the other camera? Well, because the other side is standard def. And I'm not a standard def kind of guy. I need my HD side of my iPod. It actually took me forever to figure out why I couldn't upload HD stuff when I looked at myself. I was like, oh, because one of them's HD and the other isn't. Th that's probably, probably going to be the only enhancement for iPod 5. It'll be, oh, we put an HD camera on the other side too, so you vloggers can shut the fruit door. Yeah, um, fruit door. Oh, man, I would love that kind of door right about now. Anyways, yesterday, um, I started my day off by going onto the YouTubes and seeing that I had a strike on this account, Match ECPC, the account that I made solely for the purpose of having a safe account that would never get a strike. And the reason was um, I had a video called Forgive Nintendo 20 free 3DS games and then it was flagged for being off topic or misleading but it wasn't really misleading at all. I mean I can see how they did that because I wrote it in all caps as if it was one of those scammy videos where people are like I didn't get my you're not giving out 3DS games this is a scam but no I was actually talking about Nintendo's promotion in which they were giving out 20 free 3DS games so naturally I, I appealed the account strike and if that doesn't go through then I'll have to wait an additional six months to wait for the strike to go away on its own hopefully the appeal goes through I'm hoping so and also um, I got the partnership thing back and they said I still don't have enough viewership which is weird because my friend he got viewership on his vlog channel and he had less subs than I do at the time that I applied I, we hit 1100 really quick actually here but um, apparently the weakest link um, the only thing I can think of for why this account wasn't partnered or had low viewership was channel views because I th I mean video views I'm at about a hundred K for this channel um, subscribers I was at 1050 at the time I um, applied it and the only thing that's lacking was channel views, which was at 14k at the time. So I have two months to fix that up. Everyone, just keep refreshing youtubecom GCPC and it'll be fine. Wow, this is being a lengthy one. That's what I hate about. That's the one thing I hate about vloggers. A lot of them make their videos lengthy. Oh well, I guess I have a lot to say. I hope you guys are entertained. But yeah, both those things happened the same day. I was like, wow, YouTube hates me. And then later on that day, they're like, you know what? We don't hate you. We're gonna feature you as the number one. Hurricane, not hurricane, earthquake related video on youtube.com slash trends. So if you go to youtube.com slash trends, you'll, you'll have to scroll down now because they made other blog posts since then. But if you scroll down to the very first post they made about um, earth, yeah, it is earthquakes, earthquakes, the first thing you'll see is my stupid face and a thumbnail because my thumbnail pictures never come out good. So it's probably something like, or something like that. Just while it's asking me thumbnail now. Um, but yeah. But it was awesome because that video hit 6,000 views really quickly because of that. And it was really awesome. And I got a lot of new viewers because of it. Um, we got a whole nine new subscribers yesterday. Actually, we got eight yesterday, nine today. So we got like 17 subs off that video, which I guess is pretty cool. I mean, that's usually not the type of video I see where I'm like, oh, wow, this kid's talking about earthquakes. I want to subscribe to him. For, but I'm not saying to you 17 people that you should unsub or anything. I mean, I mean, welcome. Welcome. I hope you find it cozy. Take a look around and see what you like. And now a lot of you are probably wondering, wow, this video is really stationary and kind of boring. Well, yeah, because yesterday on that video, because all these new people carry me, it's like, hey, where are you going? 
Yeah, you're so funny. Well, I like walking around more because I feel like I have more active thought at the time and I can talk more and I can get more out, although that doesn't really show now because I'm sitting on a bed and I have a really boring stationary shot full time. But I can't really go anywhere else because, I mean, first off, it's nighttime right now, so I can't walk around outside because the iPod wouldn't pick up on it. Actually, I hope it's picking up on my face right now. I have two lights pointed at me, so I really hope those are working. But of course it is the iPod, so who knows. And then I can't really walk around my house because then my parents will be like, do something stupid to interrupt the video. Like whenever my dad sees me recording, if you go to my other channel, you'll see evidence of this. If my dad spots me recording, he'll start throwing things at me. Like, and I mean, whatever he can find, he just throws at me. So that's always cool. But yeah, I got featured yesterday. That was awesome. How long we got? That's it. I'm looking. Low battery. Six minutes. Oh, dear. I have to. F okay, I'm going to speed this up. But yeah, to personal milestone. Today was my, oh yeah, and thanks to YouTube for um, featuring me, but no thanks for giving me a strike and denying partnership. I guess it evens out. I don't know. I don't know, whatever. I guess not that many people check out the Trends channel because I sort of expected more than 6,000 views. But I don't know, it's, it's still on the front page, so it, it, it's still accumulating. It's still doing stuff. People are still commenting. And then most people are writing stupid stuff like, Snooky jumped. Yeah. Anyways, um, today uh, was my final day of lifeguarding for the summer. My final day of work. I was really happy. I was like, last, but I have a very bad history of things, of odd things happening on my final days of work for the summer. Um, this year, a different thing happened. Like, um, on my way to work, my boss's boss texted me. And keep in mind, I've never talked to this guy. So just to think, so in my mind, he's just this scary authority figure. And he's like, text me when you clock in. I'm like, okay. Unfortunately, this day, my final day of work, was the one day I was late. So I texted him at 10.39 a.m. and wrote, clocked in, nine minutes late, sorry. He didn't reply back. Don't know why. Don't even know why he wanted to know why I needed to be clocked in. But whatever. Or at least I don't know why he needed confirmation that I actually clocked in. Maybe there's something wrong with the phones. I don't know, nor do I care, because he never showed up at all that day. Um, but yeah, so then that sort of freaked me out. I was like, oh, I guess that's my one moment of the day of weird things happening. I'm going to plug in my iPod, because I have a terrible feeling that... Uh, enjoy my pillow. Pillow shot. Ugh. Anyways. Oh, no, this cord is really short. Oh, there we go. There we go. So yeah, anyways, then I'm lifeguarding. It was a 10-hour shift, which sucks. That's all I've been working for the past two weeks was 10-hour shifts. So they're they're ridiculous. They pay well, but they're ridiculous. Um, so yeah, and then I get to the pool. And this lady, because it's basically, picture this. It's pool surrounded by um, complex buildings, like condo buildings for like old people, oldish people. It's kind of one of those developments, but it's really small. So every single building has a view of the pool and basically I'm in the middle so basically I'm a sniper I'm a sitting duck if a sniper saw me I'm dead there were so many open windows and it freaks me out all the time when I sit there but basically some lady looks at me and just starts shucking buckets of water at me I mean she was a good distance away so she couldn't hit me but she just kept throwing water out of her window I was like what are you doing you're throwing water out of your window I guess that answers that question of what she was doing, but I, why do you throw buckets and buckets of water out your window? Then she realized she couldn't hit me, so she just started throwing it to, she was on the third floor, so she started throwing it at the floor underneath her. I'm like, what are you doing, lady? You're just throwing water. This went on for about a half hour, and then she finally went inside. Um, that was interesting. I was like, all right, there's, there's my weird day. My weird day's over. Nope. Then some... Arab guy comes up to me and he's like talking to me. I've seen him before, he, but he never really talked to me. He goes, hello, how's your day? And I go, good, how's yours? He's like, good. And then he goes on. Um, but weird thing about this was today he goes, very nice day outside. And I go, yep, very nice day outside indeed. And I just want to be over because it's my last day of work. And then he goes, uh, then he's like, crazy earthquake we had yesterday everything was shaking speaking of earthquake i just watched this european documentary on the history of the female orgasm i shit you not he said that i first thought was what the fuck does a female orgasm have to do with an earthquake i mean 
no, it doesn't work at all. Unless you're like a Greek and it was like, oh, Athena laid down her... <laughs> I can't even say it. Um, but... <laughs> um, so then he starts saying, uh, the, the documentary was saying how there was... It, people didn't believe there was a female orgasm. And, I mean, you know, men, we, we have to focus and... Con and I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Oh, that's another thing. People were yelling at me for cursing yesterday because of all these new views from the Trend Channel. That's another reason I'm surprised I was featured. I mean, I swore like a sailor in that video. Naturally so. I mean, I was freaked out. I've never experienced an earthquake before in my life. Granted, it wasn't really that huge of an earthquake and a lot of people are overreacting, but just the fact that it happened is what's making people overreact. Um, yeah. My friend freaked out in his vlog video, and his entire vlog video is about the earthquake. And then in a vlog video right before that, he was like, but I really want to move to California when I get older, when I graduate. Actually, he's graduating this year. Aw, sad. Anyways, yeah, he plugged my video. He's like, hey, man, I plugged your video. And then I look, and it's like, where? It's like, oh, it's in the um, fifth paragraph of my description. <laughs> um, if any of you were sent by Evan, and you somehow read the fifth paragraph of his description... Then I'm shocked, for one thing, because I really don't think people read descriptions, to be honest, which is why I usually half-ass them. And But if you read five paragraphs of the decision, then you, then, damn, you have changed my mind. I mean, Evan might see this. Will he see this? If you know Evan, do not link him to this. He will be mad at me. And Evan is my friend, and I do not want Evan to be mad at me. Plus, I might not see him after this year, since he may be moving to California, you know, to experience hardcore earthquakes and... You know, and the smog and, um, you know, terrible, um, everything that's terrible about California. Like, honestly, California seems like a nice place to go, but the earthquakes and the smog and the snobby people that, I don't know, I've never been to L.A. I plan to, eventually, for E3 one of these days, or PAX or something like that. But, yeah, I've n I, it's, it, it's on the to-do list. And, yeah, that was basically my day. Um, it was pretty ridiculous. But today was the final day of my fifth year of lifeguarding. So I have officially made it five straight summers of lifeguarding, and it's over. It's finally fucking over. Hopefully I'll get an internship next year. Who am I kidding? Lifeguarding is a curse. If you're a lifeguard, you know you cannot avoid it. You will continue to be a lifeguard for the rest of your fucking life if the curse means for you to be so. It, it never goes away. I Oh my God, this is long. I need to cut this now. Reminder, if you want to help um, my 20, actually my really long um, marathon to help out the um, Brits with the riots and all, um, is tomorrow. Check out youtube.com slash gamerscast for more details on that. And there will be a video there with more instructions tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it's minus 0500. Um, yeah. And also, I might be making a video about this hurricane that's apparently coming to me, because it's Cat 3 right now and may hit Cat 4, which is which never happens in Jersey either. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Maybe YouTube will feature that one, too. Anyway, guys, I, don't, I could talk a lot more, but I've talked enough. I'm Matt, and I'm out.